We're in Franklin, Tennessee, and uh, we cover about 94 square miles and have close to 11,000 customers right now. And uh, in about 2016, we were looking for a new water meter and uh, the other meters were starting to age out. So we had water meters that were um, dying from battery life. Uh, the meters were no longer registering water. We had some that were turning backwards when we went to check on them and the meter wouldn't even register the water from a toilet flushing. So our guys had basically lost faith in the meters we had. Somebody from Camstrup had stopped by the office and uh, had to come and brought us some meters. And uh, when I first laid eyes on it, I, I didn't say much, but I didn't have much uh, faith in wanting to pursue the meter because I noticed that it was uh, what we would call at the time a plastic meter, but it was actually a composite meter. And um, I said, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure that that's gonna be the meter for us. And uh, he said, no, let's, uh, I'm, let's, let's, I want you to test it and give it a try and see if you can break it. And so I said, okay, let's go up to our shop. And so we came up to our shop and uh, in the vise, we already had a uh, meter setter and uh, we put the meter in the meter setter and the employee used about a 24 inch pipe wrench and tried to tighten up the threads and it would have definitely gauded up the threads on a brass meter and uh, when we pulled it out of the vise and the threads were intact, uh, we said, okay, we'll test it. And so uh, even the guys that were in the shop, just kind of by looking at their faces, I could see that they believed in the meter. Buying a meter system is a huge investment for any utility or municipality. And for Mill Crofton, uh, in the first three years alone, we've been able to recoup about half of our ROI expenses already. Being the first AMI system in the U.S. Um, and not having to go out and do the AMR reads and being in an AMI system, we're able to see our operating expenses go down about 7%. The first two years, uh, with when we had the 22% water loss in 2017, uh, the next two years, by 2019, um, we had about a million more dollars in revenue um, from the meters, just registering the water that was actually going through the meter and being able to bill the customers. And our uh, water purchased had flatlined, so we weren't purchasing any additional water, and we had a million dollars more in revenue sales.